Hi boys and girls, today's lesson is about finding the range. What does range mean? The range is the difference between the largest and the smallest numbers in a set of data. So when I say the word difference, what type of math do you think you should be doing? If you said subtraction, you are correct. So in a set of data, you're finding the difference. You're subtracting the largest number from the smallest number. Seems pretty simple. All right, please copy the word range and its definition into section two of your homework sheet. Let's take a look at one of our examples. Here we have a set of numbers. So what I'd like to do is, as we did with median, mode, and range, we're gonna put these numbers in order from least to greatest to help us see them more clearly and to help organize our information. So let's do that. We have 19 as our smallest number, and then 30 comes next. 47, 56, 68, and finally 81. All right, so now that my numbers are in order from least to greatest, I need to find the smallest number and the greatest number. So my smallest number is 19, and my greatest number is 81. And to find the range, we need to find the difference between the smallest and the greatest number. So to find the difference, we subtract. So I'm going to set up a subtraction problem. Eighty-one minus nineteen. We start in the ones place. If I have one, I can't take away nine, so I need to borrow from the tens place. I'll cross out my eight, and make it a seven, and my one becomes an eleven. Eleven minus nine equals two, and seven minus one equals six. So the range of this set of numbers right here would be 62. Seems pretty simple. All right, so now I would like you to try with these three examples. The first example is just a set of numbers as well as the second example. As long as you remember to order those numbers from least to greatest and then subtract the largest number from the smallest number, you should be fine. Example three is a little bit different. If you take a look, I've created a graph for you. This graph shows the amount of kudo cards that Mrs. Monafo, Mrs. Mock, and Mrs. Powell's class have earned. So here we have our numbers that are related to our bars. So use this information to help you figure out the range of kudo cards that Mrs. Monafo, Mrs. Mock, and Mrs. Powell's class have earned. Please do this in box three of your homework sheet. If you have any questions or comments or strategies you use to solve these problems, please put them in box four of your homework sheet and we'll discuss them tomorrow in class. Thank you boys and girls, you've been flipped with Mrs. Monafo.